All right, YouTubers, Paul here with another video. We have got uh, a 2005 Ford Taurus here, 3.0 liter, and then we're gonna do the heater core. So I figure I actually started doing this um, job um, already. That way I could get it underway and show you guys the uh, finer points of this uh, job, the things you're gonna need to do to um, uh, accomplish it successfully. So here we go. Number one, your heater core. You want to go into the passenger side of the vehicle. As you can see, we're sitting here at the glove compartment uh, side, passenger side of the vehicle. Um, just to let you know, your heater core um, is located as you, you go under the bo under the glove box and go down. Okay, so now we're down at the floor and look up. And to the left a little, more toward the center, and you're going to see see this cover here. That's your heater core cover. See this bolt here? You're going to have to take out this 8mm bolt, this 8mm bolt. I believe there's uh, like six of them on that door that you're going to have to take out. But uh, that's one of the last things that you're going to do in this procedure. Um, you actually need to take this dash out. Because if you notice that bracket see this bracket that one we're looking at right there that bracket arm hangs down and sits right in front of the door so if you don't take out your dash that bracket's going to be in your way okay and uh now nah, you don't want to cut that bracket that bracket's needed to support parts of the dash under there so um it's also for safety so don't cut it out go ahead and take the dash out and this is how you do it all right there's a panel if you look on the side of this car here there's going to be a panel here i'll show you the panel but you want to pop this is right on the side of the dash see that you want to pop that panel out and then there's going to be two bolts here you want to take those bolts out probably don't want to take those out first but uh, that's something you got to do these pillars here on the above the dash up here you need to pull it out you just grab it from the top and pop it out and it, it pops right out there's no screws or anything in it there's a cover up here on this upper dash it's pretty easy to pop out you just get your cat claw um, and stick it under there and pop it out and you're gonna see three bolts in the back here they're eight millimeter bolts back here and there's one on the right side one in the center and one on the left Okay, take those bolts out. So you got those three bolts, these two bolts here. Um, you know, I really don't know if you need to do this or not. Because after looking at it, it looks like this cord would have stretched. So I think you can leave the radio and climate control in there. Uh, and that... Um, console I took the console out after looking at it I don't think I needed to do that I think it could have left that in there but you you may want to take it out it's really not that big of a deal pop the radio and climate control pop these few wires off and it's out of there there's a few bolts uh, screws um, here for that uh, I guess it's called a bezel for the um, spinometer and stuff I don't think you have to take that out though um, but if you do, it's quite easy, and I did. That way I could see what was going on, what I had to take out and leave in. I'm going to flip over here to this side of the car. Um, on this side of the car, same thing. You've got that uh, panel you need to pop off. Take those two bolts out there. Actually, I'm leaving the one top bolt in there so that the dash doesn't just fall on the floor it's going to kind of stay hanging there on that one bolt now i did loosen that bolt up a good half inch or more just a little more than half an inch so that there's play i took the bottom bolt out as you can see and that's that um you will need to take this uh steering shaft loose with i'll show you with one 10 millimeter nut um down here as you can see this shaft here it has a 10 millimeter nut that goes through right there so just take that nut out and pull this you know this shaft will actually it it actually just pulls right out so it separates the the column from the uh firewall there and the your steering column shaft whatever you call it, it separates that so you can pull that out 
So once you've got that done, oh, there's um, the blower motor and stuff. I'm going to walk around here. Blower motor and um, blower motor resistor and those wires will hang you up when trying to pull the dash back. So you want to disconnect those. That's the wires you saw hanging there. Uh, blower motor resistor, blower. Um, there's some other type of connections under there, but you want to get all these plugs undone so that you can um, pull this dash back. So once you have those bolts out, all these bolts I just showed you, you can go ahead and pull that dash out and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Um, now, I do advise that you put something on the seat, um, on the passenger seat, because this, uh, this dash is going to come out and we're going to sit this side of it in the seat. Alright, so let me see if I can um, show you that. It's actually fairly easy. Let me, um, I don't know if I can get this camera down here or what. But I'll just set it down and then I'll um, go ahead and do that. Actually, maybe I can, maybe I can use this visor here. How about that? Let me set it right there. There we go. I'm actually smashing the camera down here in between the seat visor, which is kind of cool. Hopefully it doesn't hit the button. But yeah, watch this. I'm going to I'm gonna pull this dash out. Now look, <clears throat> this dash is not light. It does have weight. So you do need to keep that in mind. If you don't, you're going to pull it out. See, I'm pulling it out. You're going to pull it out and uh, drop it in the floor if you don't kind of hold it. But see, I just, I just pick that baby up, pull it over, set it in the seat. All right? It's that easy. And then look. See, we've got the the dash now sitting in the seat so the seat will support it okay and as you can see now we have full access of this heater core compartment all right and now I'm helping my dad I'm just kidding I'm just kidding okay my rude son that needs uh, <laughs> some serious manners but uh, whatever kids these days or something but anyway so so you got this panel here um, now I'm gonna go ahead and take the bolts out looks like um, you got this wire here you're gonna want to pop that out um, see this if you notice this uh, this arm thing is in the way okay so uh, I'll show you once I get it out I'm actually going to stop this video, go ahead and um, take the heater core out, and then I'll show you what you got to do to do that. I'm going to take the heater hoses, I believe, from the bottom. I'm going to jack the car up, go underneath, and disconnect the heater hoses, and I'll show you guys that. But uh, And I'll show you what to do with this piece. We're going to have to pull it up and get it out of the way so that we can open that door out, uh, door up and take that heater core out. But, but that's that. Yeah, folks, look at look at that. I mean, that dash. You have got to take that dash out, and you can access that heater core. If you don't, you're you're not going to be able to do it, folks. So, so this is the thing to do. All right, now I'll go ahead and take this heater core out and show you what's up in the next video.